Hey everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls! And we're gonna be fighting Artorias, just like I said at the end of the last episode. We're going straight back to him. You know, maybe we will get to kill him on our first try. I'm thinking that's not too likely. I've always seemed to have a bit of trouble with Artorias. Especially since right now I'm not really using a very well upgraded shield. In fact, I don't think it's upgraded at all. It is not. And also using a very slow weapon, which is going to be a uh, pain, nonetheless. I mean, it's going to be a pain, and nonetheless, we're still going to have to make this happen. I'm not going to bother with that S. Actually, I used a replenishment, so I don't need to bother with that S. This anyway, this guy just minding his own business, and oh, he gets stabbed in the face by the mighty Artorius. Apparently, he wasn't even dead until he did that second stab, so yeah. He looks at us, he isn't like our master of the mother because he thinks it's cheap in PvP, so now he's going to get really mad. And he's like, hey man, don't bring that shit to PvP, it's not fair. It's overpowered. And then I'm like, well, why don't you just use it if you think it's overpowered? And he's like, because I'm an honorable player, you son of a bitch! And he gets really mad. And he goes full tryhard mode. And here we go. Fighting tryhard mode Artorias. Oh, I barely hit him. Ah, oh, I didn't hit him. Oh, God. There we go. Finally got a good hit in on him. I'm always worried about his swinging after he does that flip, because he can do multiple flips. Oh, he's gonna try to... Uh, use that when I try to cancel it out. There we go. Let's hit him again. Yeah. That did a lot of damage. We're really doing a lot of damage to this guy. He's given us quite a bit of openings. I mean, I said before, I'm worried about... Uh, there we go. That's why you don't want to do it on the flips. But, if he does three, feel free to swing out for the third one, because he never does more than three flips. Oh, he broke my block. That would have did a lot of damage if he hit. But, he just wants to get finished off, so here we go. And, that was actually way easier and faster than I thought it would be. I probably actually could have crammed that into the last, into the last episode, which is, uh, kind of a shame I feel like you guys might have actually missed out on a, what would have felt like a more complete episode. Now, hopefully we won't get invaded before we rest. I get the feeling we will, just because Dark Souls likes to be Dark Souls. And yeah, we're going to repair our equipment, level up really fast, just once apparently. And uh, yeah, let's quickly get back over here because there's something I want to do. and reload our game. You could also just like die or use a homeward bone or something like that to make this happen. But, you know, quitting reloading doesn't really use any resources and we don't have to die, so let's do that. And hey, we got somebody praying at this little makeshift uh, grave for Artorias. This is Caitlin. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. We really Would have no need. We have no need for the soul, and I really don't care about getting your armor, so we're actually gonna give her the soul. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. She gave me her weapons, the dark silver and gold tracer. May the Lord guide thee. Right, so if you kill it, you can actually get that swagalicious armor she has on right there. Which it's actually it's one of my favorite armors in the game, one of my favorite light armors at least. It actually gives a little bit of poise too. I believe the full set gives you 20 poise, which really isn't enough to really do much. But combined with the combined with the wolf ring, that's 60 poise, which is pretty nice. It's a very hefty amount for the uh, for the weight. So ain't nothing to sneeze at. Now let's try to make our way through this area. Hopefully we won't get invaded too much because this is a very popular PVP location. Dodge these fools. 
take both of them out in one fell swoop. Somebody said that it sounds like it's my catchphrase, one fell swoop, just because I say it so much. But, you know. It's the honest truth. I'm take out, maybe I'll take out these guys in one fell swoop. Yeah, there we go, one fell swoop. This mage here? Take him out one fell swoop. Not that guy, though. This guy on the other side of this wall, take him out! Through the wall. Like a boss. Walls. Were meant to be broken. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head over here, because there's an item we really want to get. For that last boss. In, you know, for the for the next boss, actually, I got this. I've already killed like half the bosses in the DLC. It's just the area between the last boss and the and the boss I just fought. The last boss and Artorias. The last boss I just fought and the last boss in the DLC. Who isn't necessarily the last boss, depending on the order that you fight things. Uh, you know, it's pretty long air, uh, open area now. This message will say, "Let there be light." It's a big hint to let, to let you know to use an item that gives light off to get in here. And you get the silver pendant, which is super nice to have for the very last boss in the DLC. We're not going to bother going in that left area. Whoop. Almost fell down. Actually, we are going to bother going here because I actually just remembered something. Oh, I forgot about that guy. But anyway, I remember there's actually an item you can get. I think it's actually, yeah, it's right down here. Get the I'm sorry carving. Even though I'm not actually sorry. <laughs> uh, get by here quickly because deadly, deadly dark magics. It's green titanite shards. Uh, we want to go around here and up, I believe. Yes. Get here. They're still shooting those magics to just for no real reason. Get some more large shards. Make a way on up. Yeah. Very surprised we have not been invaded yet. There will be an NPC invasion very shortly. In fact, we'll basically run into it right now. There we go. Let's backstab him. Oh, actually, I don't think that works on this NPC. Oh, God. And he got a good hit off on me. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't think he'd actually be able to hit me at that angle. This, is, this guy can be a bit dangerous. His, his good moves to keep you away from him. But we're going to get a backstab. Whew, he doesn't even drop anything over you. They're not even humanity. Just You just get souls for beating him. Which really sucks. Would have been nice if you got, like, maybe, I don't know, like a ring that lets you do that like, cool swirly kick he was doing. That'd be great. You can replace your backstab with a swirly kick or something. Keep people away. That's a mimic. Forgot to mention that before bashing away on him. Sorry if it startled anybody. And we get the very good carving. Or more like the very good carving. <laughs> because it sounds like he says very good. Where is that silver pendant? There it is. I think I might have passed right by it. So we're gonna want that silver pendant at the ready for this next bit. Don't really need it, but it seems like a perfect opportunity to demonstrate how it works and what it's used for. Now you can dodge roll through this guy's magic like any other magic, but silver pendant will repel dark magic. So you see him casting it, he's silver pendant. That was a big no-no on my part. Uh, I should have something to cure poison. There it is. All right. So for the most part, we won't be needing the pendant too much. Oh, that was almost. That was potentially deadly. That was very close. No, you know, hey, I wonder what this item is. Uh, it is, uh, oh, it's rubbish. It's meant to be a trap. This guy drops down. And, no, I'll just backstab him. No problem. Now, time for some crazy MLG pro strats right here. Just, yeah, oh. 
I'm gonna fail at it. Let's try it again. Yeah! Take out the caster right away. That guy's all taken care of. Now we're gonna move off. Let's aggro these guys. Pretty close, man. Anyway, let's head over here. There's an item we want to get right over here. Well, not right over here, but you know, over in this direction. We make our way up these stairs through this doorway, and we're gonna smack this guy in the face for a metric half ton of damage. Now, we gotta make this jump very simple. Just gotta roll. Make it pretty much every time. Smash this guy, and before I open that chest, smash this guy too. Likes to hide around the corner. Alright, now this is another mimic. So let's just smash the crap out of him. There we go. He's going to drop a crest key. Crest key is the best key. And if you want to get a spell, you can go down there. I have no interest in it, and there's a mage guarding it. Sometimes it likes you know get a cheap shot on me as I go down the ladder or as I drop down the hole, so I'm not even gonna bother. And it's not even a very good spell. It's just it's essentially a f uh, poison mist for casters. That's really it. Right, we're gonna make our way over here and open up this shortcut. A sap. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm still quite surprised that I have not been invaded at all. So this is a shortcut. Let's actually get down. And I fell like an idiot. I had a, it's it's because I didn't think about just jumping and letting it go up on its own until after I was like already on it. Yeah, I should have just rode it up and then back down. No big deal. We'll just go back. The other, since the shortcut's open, we can just very easily go back there. No problem. So boom, there we go. Where is our blood stain? That I would like to know. There it is, quite a ways back. Anyway, let's just keep moving on. We're about to be done with the bonfire. We'll probably go human at the next one. It's not too far off. Whoop. For the sake of making things easier here, we're going to clean up our inventory a bit so we can just jump between the Silver Pendant and the SS Flask super quick. Oh, oh this looks deadly. Whew. That was close. Right, so these mages are some pesky bastards. We are going to go ahead and pull out the silver pendant spam away for a moment bash this guy ooh that was very close I almost did not get that off in time alright so those guys are very tricky those guys are the bane of a lot of players existences I used to think there might have been a secret in this area with all these statues I actually got this guy to break all of them for me just to see and there was nothing special so <laughs> don't bother trying it, everybody This is the only time you'll actually see this guy in the DLC. He only shows up that one time, and he had, and I don't think he respawns. And all he can, all he does is drop a chain armor, which is, you know, meh. We'll do like a one foot plunging attack. <laughs> Make our way through here. Here's the next bonfire. We'll go human here, and we still have like another five minutes in the episode to go. So you know, we're making some good progress pretty quickly reverse hollowing here I think we have enough souls to level up once so we'll do that so uh, went the wrong way there we go okay let's get our endurance up to 29 once we get up to 30 probably start dumping more points in vit and repair equipment seems like a good idea Oh, getting pretty framey there. 
Anyway, okay. Got Titanite Lizard. He got pooped on. You can get Dark Bead off there in the distance. You can kind of see the item. But it's guarded by a lot of guys I don't want to deal with. So I'm just going to run by. There's a caster with a bunch of those uh, hand guys that just run up and punch you. But I want to make more progress. You can jump down there. Those guys will not like immediately kill you. They kill you pretty quick if they touch you, but that's all they can do. They can just touch you. Now, oh, you know, let me just... I wonder if there's anything over here. And we're like, oh, no! It's Alvina. I think that's her name, right? Alvina? The Force Hunter uh, Covenant Leader, the cat. What she's doing is she's leading us somewhere. So we will follow her. And where she was leading us was right here. To an invisible wall. And there's humanity sprites moving in on my territory here. Gotta be careful with my slow weapon. At least it has some decent reach. So I can kill these guys without letting them touch me. Because that's all these guys can do. They just they touch you. And it does damage. Alright, so this guy may seem familiar. It's good old Sif. Now, if you actually do this DLC before fighting Sif, he will actually remember you. And you get a different cutscene. And it's very touching. But, we killed him first, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there's another shortcut we, didn't we can unlock here. This will. Now we're actually prepared to jump off. So, yeah. That leads you back right before the entrance of the Artorias boss fight. So, you know, if I die, I just want to run back a little bit. I don't want to get caught between those guys. Just got to run back a little bit, and, uh, you know, I can go straight here instead of. Uh, to the other bonfire, or you know, back to the casters and what that. I'm gonna go up here. You can get black flame down there, but I'm not interested in using pyromancy on this character, so I'm skipping right over it. That character has been, this character has been like a massive asshole to me before. She would just use dark beat immediately as I show up and just one shot me. It's insane. Absolutely ridiculous. Wait, I killed Artorias in this episode, right? I might kill Artorias and Manus in this episode. This is pretty quick. Just completely blowing through the DLC. Also, oh god, well, there's an item over here that, you know, if you plan on making a faith user, it's pretty useful to know about. Because it is a white titanite slab. It's pretty good. Very good. I wonder where these prism stones came from. If somebody came through here before me and placed them down. Those guys can be a bit tedious to take care of, but this is actually a great place to farm humanity because these guys have a tendency to drop humanity sprites. Anyway, here comes the boss. You know, as this message says, we'll rate this one up. Let's cast our replenishment. Let's get our Dark Moon Blade up. Or in this case, you know, Dark Moon Club of Death. And here we go. Hopefully, we don't fuck up. It's very easy to get one shot by this guy if you're not careful. But we'll let this cutscene play out. Oh no! Now let's look around. Whoop. There's Sif's sign, and he killed us. 
I was I was paying too much attention to getting Civ signed. Well, I guess maybe we won't be able to cram this in Civ. I guess I'll try one more time, even though I've just gone past 20 minutes. Give it another go. And we actually don't need to go take that shortcut. It might actually be a little bit faster to go this way. Anyway, I do actually want to go human, though, so that I can summon Sif. So let's get rid of that off the fast bar. Also, getting some more Estus Flask would probably be a good idea, so let's do that as well. Kindle that fire. Alright, well, it doesn't really need to be repaired, so let's just move on. We'll try to get there super duper quickly. Didn't think he was gonna be back there. Oh my god. I saw that coming a mile away. The second I saw my stamina is low, I'm like, he's gonna destroy me. <sighs> Maybe I should end the episode because I'm doing so bad. Maybe I need to take a little break. Nah. We just wanna fuck up again. Oh hey, I'm back, guys. My twin brother with the same voice is playing right there. Uh. I don't know what he did, but I'm dead, so, uh, you know. <laughs> I think it's working. They have no idea. <laughs> oh! Son of a bitch, I'm not going to bother with that blood stain, because it's got pretty, basically nothing in it. A quick way down here. I mean, uh, I think it has nothing. You know, I don't know, because my brother was with the same voice is playing. I'm just gonna rush past all these guys, because nobody can't. Nobody ain't no got no time for that. No, no. Dodge your magic, because fuck you, oh, Jesus. Yeah, you waste your time laughing. I'll keep moving. Whoo, that was close. I think these guys are gonna sneak up behind me. <sighs> let's buff all this stuff up again. All right, now let's just go ahead and skip this cousin because you guys just saw it. Where are you, Sif? There you are. Boom. Okay, summoning Phantom. No biggie. No big deal. Oh God! When he shouts like that, you back off. That will likely, unless you have like Havel Shield, that's gonna probably break your block. And, okay. <laughs> this guy is destroying me. Leave me alone. Go fight Sif. That's why I summoned him. I could have sworn I rolled on time for that. Let's just chug, chug. There we go. Now is a good time to heal. Civ has a ton of HP. In case you were wondering. Whew, barely escaped from that. One more hit, he would have broke my block. Alright, it's been a while since I fought this guy. Definitely been quite a while. Oh, shit! Oh god, I might die. I might barely live. But I'm dead. Ah, I need heavier armor. Well, we're gonna end the episode there because I've already gone five minutes over time. We'll kill this guy in the next bit. Maybe even Calamite.
I don't remember this guy ever giving me that much trouble, which is a shame. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode.